Okay, for our next project, we're going to use pastels and we're going to draw an expressionistic pit or cow. So when we start this, we're going to use pastels and this is kind of what it's going to look like in the end. And I'm going to kind of walk through. So if you guys need to stop and stop as we go, just stop, catch yourself up, and then press start again so you guys can um, follow along with me, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to start drawing with a pencil for just a second and then I'm going to have you guys use some big um, drawing sticks of graphite so it kind of has more of a, a free drawing look to it. So we're going to have this little cow study to go by and if you look at it, it has some basic shapes. It has this oval here then it has kind of this rectangle here and then everything else builds off of that. So we're going to start that first. We're going to have, here's your piece of paper. So we're going to start out by drawing the oval of its head because we want, see we want that oval right there. And then we're going to do the nose, and then we're going to do everything else from there. So, I don't know if you can see that very well. Oval. And then we're going to do, I have that along there with you. And then we're going to do kind of, and it's okay if you've got some lines here, because we're going to, it's going to be more flowing. So once we have those two on there, we're going to go darker with this pencil. So you guys have these lines on regular pencil. Now then everybody's going to get a pencil like this. Okay, so get this pencil and we're going to start with the nose. So we're going to go in and add more shape to it. It's going to have kind of a shape that goes like this and then it has like a little bump here like this. So everybody kind of get this shape and it's okay if you put a couple couple lines. It's okay if it's kind of more free like this because we're going to have with pastels we're going to go over it and so if it has a bit of a black outline too it's okay you don't have to erase it. You can kind of just kind of have it more sketchy if you want. I can erase this if I want to. It's not going to erase very well because this is kind of like kind of like a dark dark drawing pencil or like char or charcoal. So that's why we did it in pencil first, okay? So once you have that how you like it, then see on his face how you have that oval that you drew behind it? You're gonna draw here. You're gonna draw his head. It goes back up and over and then down and around. And then that comes back over here and does his mouth. Okay? So his head and his mouth. So everybody have that? Okay. Then you have kind of where his eyes are here. See how you have that? It's kind of here. This one's a little wider because we're going from the side. And you'll see a little bit of his eye here. A little bit here and then on this side we're going to see a full eye so you're going to do a circle and it can go off a little bit and then they have cows have a kind of a big eyelid so you're going to go to the eyelid and you can even have kind of like does that makes sense and if you want to do the eyelid over here you can do that too everybody got that then we're going to do his nostrils and again they're going to be one right here you just kind of see the edges. One right here. Okay. Next step. I'm going to have an ear. And it's just going to be kind of like a circle that goes in. Short. 
round. It kind of has the edge here. It just shadows that area. We've got that one. Same thing here, except it's going to finish. So kind of where its eye is, it's going to go skinny, round, skinny. And then you'll do that mimic again. Skinny, round, skinny, mimic. Got that? Okay. For his body, and I'm going I'm to pull over to this. Now, yeah, I will do it here. For right here, you're going to do his front legs, and they're just going to go kind of down from where his mouth is. Just going to do an arch. One leg here. Okay. Then for his back leg, you kind of have his, this is like his belly and then down to his front leg. So it's kind of go belly, belly, down. Okay. And then you're going to get, this is like his back tail over and then back leg. Everybody got that? And then you're just going to have kind of the look of a tail. Okay. So everybody have your cow? Then what we're going to do is since we're going to do this kind of like in a painterly fashion with our pastels, we need to have our horizon line. So you're just going to pick a spot, I would say midway, line here, stop through our cow, go over here, and over here. <clears throat> now, color with expressionism. They use a lot of color. It didn't have to be accurate, and you focus more on um, how colors gave emotion to art and how, like, you could use line to express something, something how maybe you could repeat the colors that you saw in, in the background to kind of pull it into the picture, to kind of, it was more of how a picture made you feel as opposed to, like, realism or how realistic it looked like right here in my white areas I actually pulled colors from the background like where there would be highlights on the cow I actually pulled colors from the background because you know if I put it in white it would look very very plain so I went back in and added, added colors that I saw like I pulled a little pink from his nose and put it in here I pulled some blues and they actually made greens because blue and yellow makes green. I pulled some green here. I pulled some green here. I just added some colors to actually make it look a little bit more, just add more emotions to the picture. And then if you look at my line, see how it's just not smooth. It's actually colored very expressive. So that's what we're going to do with our colors. So you're going to use the pa oil pastels. And I've just, these are some of the colors you have at the elementary. You have like some pinks and some peaches, which are some nice colors that like cow noses are. There's like some bright pinks, some dark pinks. There's some cows are like reds, browns, oranges, blacks, some whites. And then there's some greens and blues. For the background, I think the other color I didn't use was maybe, maybe purple. I don't know. I guess I could probably use some purple in the sky if I wanted to, and I could use all my colors. So, you're going to start, I thought the easiest place to start would be on, on the nose. So you want to think about, like, um, like on here, Let's see if I can get both these in the picture. Like on the nose, I think it's a little darker here. And here, like on a cow's nose, it seems to be kind of darker, darker pink or peach. Let's see if I can do. I don't like that yellow. I'm going to go with the pink. So I just did some. And you can go, if you remember pastels, they mix really good. So do maybe some darker colors. See, am I, am I going like really fancy or am I 
like expressing like I'm actually exciting with my how I put the color down I'm gonna mix some lighter pinks in there and pastels you can actually mix them as you color now I like and see see how it kind of mixes with the black too which is what I like about these pencils kind of adds a shadow to it. Now I like this area here. I kind of liked how it was white. So I'm gonna go in with the white and actually mix it and I'll make a light pink. I'll leave this area a little white. And you can layer them, make them smooth by just overlapping the colors. Now once I have it all on there, I actually want to go over it again with the pink, dark pink maybe to give it a little bit more kind of texture maybe. A little bit. See how you can blend it just by doing layers of color. A little bit more white here. So you can kind of just build it up so you have it the way you like it. Kind of like that nose. Okay. Now, I think my cow, oops, I want to do the like black areas. So see how his nostrils are black? Do a little black here black here. Now my cow, maybe I'm going to do a brown and I want it to be like his mouth. I want it to be like maybe dark to light. So I'm going to go dark color first and then I'm going to go light. I think I'm going to go light yellow. And the light yellow will actually blend with that brown. I want to add a little white maybe for a little highlight there. I'm going to go back in a little bit more brown. I thought I want his nose to be maybe a little red. Or this is his mouth, isn't it? Okay, now I think I want to have maybe dark here. Yeah, I think I want to do dark here and maybe light there. So I'll do it again in the brown. with the yellow here. Oh, this is orange, isn't it? And I'm going to do a little yellow. Now I wanted this to be white. So I'm going to do some white. Oops. Sometimes, see how it gets dirty a little bit? You can take See if I can find a Kleenex real quick. Just a second. You can just wipe that off if it's too dark. If it's a color you don't want to have on there. Like I didn't really want that pink on there yet. I'll do this a little white. And like I said, I want to add a little bit of blue. Because I want that sky to reflect in there just a little bit. This won't be as bad pink because it didn't have that. Let maybe do a little bit of brown on this one. So I'll make it light brown. Yeah, I think I like the light brown a little bit better. Put light brown on there too. I like that light brown. That looks pretty. When you mix the blue with the light brown, it kind of makes a pretty, like a light gray. I think I might do that on the other side. See, then I put, I like that light gray there. I think I'll do that. Make that light gray. Kind of make the blue, like I said, of the sky. Oh, I like that. 
Then we'll do the eyes. Cow's eyes are nice and black with a little yellow in the middle. A little yellow in the middle. So you kind of see as you go. I think I'm going to do black lids. Give them some eyelids. Um, body. Let's see. Brown. Maybe that blue again like I did. So you kind of understand how you can mix the colors really nice and they don't have to be like the exact colors that a cow would be. You can kind of mix them in however you want them to be. It does not have to be realistic. Now, I'm going to do one ear so you can kind of see how I'm going to do an ear. Maybe the brown again. And maybe, oops, maybe yellow or white with a we went a little bit yellow, maybe. Yeah, I kind of you can kind of do it however you kind of want to do it. Now the ground. You're not going to do the whole thing. You're kind of going to fade out as you go. So I would do dark around his body. So it's like a shadow. You know how sometimes when like around you when you when you stand somewhere you have a shadow around you. So you're going to go do dark, but then as it goes out, it gets lighter. So you do that lighter color, and you can kind of stop as you get to the edge. Then you can kind of mix dark on top, and you can even kind of smear it if you want. These smear too. So I did light to dark. Maybe do the green again. See how they overlap on top really nice? So that could be like here, and you go all around him. Under here would be green again, like it's a little shadow. Maybe lighter green as it comes further to his body. See how that hits in here? He has a shadow around him, and then it gets lighter. Same with the sky. Maybe you want to have it like a um, do I have a dark blue. Yeah, you can do a darker blue. Maybe have kind of like a cloudy sky, darker blue to a, a lighter blue. Almost like the sky is on us, a, a dark sunset, kind of smooth it in to the evening. Because this kind of looks like it's kind of like. See how that works? So you'll just go ahead and draw your cow like we did. Break it down through the steps. If you need to stop the video again, you guys will draw as a group. Once you have it drawn, you'll use the oil pastels. You can, I'll have this example for you guys to look off of. You can kind of draw your cow. You can choose your colors. Like I kind of did it in different colors. You could do lights and darks. Be okay. Think about how you can pull colors in. You can pull the colors of the sky. You can pull some highlight colors in. It's okay if you don't want to use like exactly the colors that a cow is because you know you're you're expressing yourself through color. So it's okay if you don't want to use the exact colors. You don't have to. When you're done, your hands are going to be very dirty. These are oil pastels. It's easy to get just a little bit of the, um, oh, the, what's that stuff called? Oh, antibacterial hand sanitizer, and that dissolves it really quick. It takes it right off, and then if you still feel like, see how that took it off pretty quickly? If you still feel like you need to wash your hands, you can wash your hands, but that pretty much dissolves it right up and you don't have to worry about even going to the bathroom and washing your hands. Go ahead, remember to put the pastels away in the right container colors and make sure you guys clean up. It'll probably take you maybe a day to draw 
and then maybe one to two days of color. Don't worry about being in a rush. Take your time and, and kind of really enjoy like the movement of putting the color down. 